Hi Brain Blasters, it's me, Chuja. Today, we're going inside your body, like deep inside your body, to meet the superheroes that protect you from getting sick. Before we start, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and join Brain Blast for you family. Your support means a lot in my learning journey. So what exactly is immunity? Well, it's your body's way of saying, nope, 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 you can't come in bad germs. Imagine your body is a castle and your immune system is the army guarding the gates. If a germ like a bacteria or a virus tries to sneak in, BAM! The army wakes up and goes to battle. Immunity is your body's health to fight off germs and stop you from getting sick. Like a secret defense system that works 24-7. What happens when you get a cut or a scrape? Uh-oh, the skin barrier breaks. That's how bad guys like bacteria sneak in. As soon as the bacteria gets inside, the immune system is triggered, triggered. Your body sends out a lot and kind of like an alarm. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Now, get ready to meet the white blood cells, the tiny superheroes who live in your blood and fight for them. Macrophages, the big chomper, chomper. <laughs> Macrophages are like jump blob monsters and are first to respond. They gobble up germs and when it's too much, they send signals to call help. This chemical signal is called cytokines. Boom! Blood vessels expand. The area turns red, swollen and warm. That's called inflammation. It's your body calling backup troops. Neutrophils, suspicious. cytokines kinds travel through the bloodstream and call for a battle. Now, it's full of on battle mode. They send signals, blood vessels, to open up, letting neutrophils rush to the infection site. Neutrophils then swarm in, attack bacteria, and release their deadly chemical called NET. Or explode to destroy them. Yup, even it means, if it means they sacrifice themselves. What happens when the battle gets too big? What if the bad germs get multiplying, multiplying, and multiplying? Now comes the super smart detective of the immune system, the dendritic cells. They grab a piece of the invader, like a protein or an antigen. This is the evidence. Dendritic cells travel through the belly bloodstream to the lymph nodes, where lots of T cells and B cells hang out. Lymphocytes, there are two types. One, T cells, the brain command. It, know, it, it is known exactly what the invader looks like. It clones itself, making an army of helpers, T cells that can signal other immune cells and help activate B cells. B cells, the weapon makers. They make tons of antibodies, like little Y-shaped weapons that lock onto specific antigens. Not all T cells are helper, some are killers. And no, now they're on the moon. After the battle, not everyone goes home. Some of the B cells and T cells become memory cells. They don't fight right now, but they remember that invader's face forever. Next time, that same germ attacks. Boom! Instant immune response. Faster, stronger, and smart. Isn't your immune system awesome? It's like a super team always watching your back. And guess what? You can help it too. By sleeping well, eating well, 
and staying healthy and staying active. Please don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe for more awesome science with me. Until next time, stay strong, stay smart and keep blasting your brain.